We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. Now, astronomers have captured that moment live, streaming in real time around the globe of them watching all of this. Take a look at this. Oh. Hey, oh, nice. Yes, look at that bad boy. This is a raw image, so this is not even like, I mean, this is just directly from the telescope right now. You're looking at a piece of what would have become a planet in another star system. This is a building block from somebody else's home. A mysterious object from deep interstellar space, only the third ever confirmed, has begun glowing in eerie green as it hurtles toward the sun at over 180,000 miles per hour. Known as 3I Atlas, it isn't just another cosmic drifter. It may be a pristine relic older than our sun itself, carrying secrets from a forgotten corner of the galaxy. But what has astronomers on edge isn't just its ancient origin, it's the way this interstellar traveler has awakened. In a matter of weeks, it shifted from a silent, lightless rock into a blazing emerald beacon, brighter and stranger with each passing day. That's not normal comet behavior. And the clock is running out. This October, 3i Atlas will reach its moment of arrival, a razor-thin window when it passes the sun and reveals its true nature, what will humanity learn when the veil is finally lifted? And are we ready for the answers? To understand why astronomers are on edge, we need to rewind. 3i Atlas is only the third interstellar visitor ever spotted. The first was the infamous Oumuamua in 2017, a mysterious cigar-shaped rock that tumbled silently through the solar system, sparking endless debate about its true nature. The second was 2i Borisov in 2019, which looked and acted like a normal comet. Ordinary, except for the fact it had come from another star. But 3i Atlas is different, much bigger, much brighter, and far stranger than either of its predecessors. It was supposed to be just another frozen relic from deep space. Instead, it has become the most puzzling interstellar object ever recorded. The first detection came from the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System in Hawaii, giving it the name Atlas. Shortly after, data revealed something unusual. This object had been spotted earlier by NASA's TESS mission when it was still way out beyond Jupiter. At that distance, a normal comet should be dark, quiet, and inactive, but 3i Atlas was already bright and getting brighter. That means it was releasing material, a process called sublimation, long before the sun's heat could explain it. Astronomers knew immediately that something was wrong. This wasn't how comets are supposed to behave. It was as if 3i Atlas had started waking up early, almost like it was preparing in advance. As the mystery deepened, the world's most powerful observatories all swung into action. Hubble, the veteran telescope that has served for decades, JWST with its cutting-edge infrared eyes, SPRX, a new mission mapping the origins of the cosmos, and TESS returning for a second look. When four of the most advanced telescopes ever built all lock on to a single object, it's a clear sign astronomers know this is not just another rock. They're racing the clock, desperate to gather data before 3i Atlas slips behind the sun at the end of October. One researcher described it as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that may never come again. The urgency is palpable. And what these telescopes are finding is only making the picture stranger, layer after layer of mystery peeling back to reveal something that doesn't belong. Let's start with the basics. The coma, the glowing shroud of gas and dust around the solid nucleus of the object, doesn't resemble the comas of ordinary comets. Normally, as sunlight heats frozen water ice, a comet develops a halo rich in H2O vapor. But 3i Atlas? Its coma is overwhelmingly made of carbon dioxide. In fact, the ratio of CO2 to water has been measured at 16 to 1. That is the reverse of what we expect completely alien to the comets born in our solar system. Imagine finding a planet where the oceans aren't water but liquid methane. That's the scale of difference here. 
It's not just unusual, it's a fingerprint pointing to a birthplace far from the chemical recipes we're familiar with. And the coma isn't just chemically strange, it's optically bizarre. Polarimetric studies, where astronomers look at how light scatters and polarizes as it bounces off the dust, reveal a deep negative polarization curve. To the untrained ear, that might sound technical, but here's the takeaway. No comet, no asteroid, no dust cloud we've ever studied behaves like this. The grains around 3i Atlas scatter light as though they're engineered to do so, producing reflections that can't be explained by the usual physics of frozen dirt and ice. The glow isn't just a side effect, it might be the clue. And then there's the metallic riddle. Spectrographs, essentially breaking the light down into its elemental fingerprints, have detected nickel in the coma. But there's no iron. That's not just odd, it's nearly impossible. In the cosmos, nickel and iron are cosmic siblings. They're born together in the nuclear furnaces of dying stars, fused in supernovae and scattered through space in equal measure. Every asteroid, every planetary core, every meteorite we've studied carries them as a pair. The only time we've ever seen nickel without iron is when humans separate them in industrial processes. So how is it that an object drifting in from deep interstellar space, supposedly untouched and pristine, carries nickel in isolation? Natural theories exist, but they all strain credibility. And in the silence of late-night observatories, scientists whisper the uncomfortable question, is this chemistry the byproduct of design? Taken individually, each of these anomalies, CO2 over water, strange light scattering, nickel without iron, might be written off as quirks, but together they start to form a pattern. They hint at something we don't understand, something alien. Not just alien in origin, but alien in intent. And now the timeline grows urgent. October 25th, 2025, perihelion the closest approach to the sun. This is the point where comets usually put on their grandest displays, erupting, fragmenting, or blazing into brilliance. For astronomers, perihelion is the truth window. If 3i Atlas has hidden structure, if it's going to reveal a core that doesn't match its coma, this will be the moment. But perihelion isn't the only key milestone. In early October, just weeks before perihelion, 3i Atlas will skim past Mars at a distance of 28 million kilometers. That's far in human terms, but close enough for machines already stationed at the Red Planet. The European Space Agency has two eyes in orbit there, Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter. These spacecraft will aim their cameras and sensors at the glowing intruder, peering through its massive CO2 cloud in hopes of glimpsing the solid nucleus itself. Even a blurry outline could tell us, is this an irregular lump of rock and ice? Or something shaped, structured, and deliberate? Then, months later, after slipping behind the sun and re-emerging into our view in December, 3i Atlas will continue its outbound path toward Jupiter. And waiting at Jupiter is NASA's Juno spacecraft. Juno was supposed to end its mission soon, its fate sealed in a planned dive into Jupiter's atmosphere. But now, that decision is in question. Scientists are debating, should we extend Juno's life just to chase one last target? Because if Juno can capture images or readings as 3i Atlas swings past Jupiter in March 2026, it could give us a final, irreplaceable glimpse before this interstellar wanderer disappears into the void forever. Step back for a moment and consider what that means. Humanity is aligning its assets across the solar system. Martian orbiters, Earth-based telescopes, and a Jupiter probe, all trained on one object. That's not routine science. That looks like coordination, a global mission briefing, a silent consensus that this isn't just another comet. It's something worth treating as if it were arriving. And here's where the trajectory itself becomes the most haunting clue. 3i Atlas isn't plunging in at some random angle slicing through the solar system on a careless path. Its orbit is eerily, unnaturally aligned with the ecliptic plane, the thin, flat disk where every planet from Mercury to Neptune makes its rounds. The odds of such a perfect alignment happening by chance are vanishingly small. Then look closer. Its path doesn't just cross the plane, it threads through it, 
making calculated passes by Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, one after the other. It's less like a random flyby and more like a planned tour of the solar system's key worlds, as though the object isn't just passing through, it's checking in. Coincidence? Possibly, but with every new observation, with every chemical anomaly and every unexplained deviation, the line between coincidence and intention grows thinner. That's why astronomers are beginning to use a new word. Not flyby, not visitor, but arrival. Arrival doesn't necessarily mean collision. It doesn't necessarily mean danger. It could mean revelation, contact, a message delivered not with radio waves, but with presence, a cosmic emissary that forces us to confront questions we've avoided. Are we alone? Are we being watched? Or are we right now the audience to something older, greater, and far beyond our comprehension? So here's the countdown. Early October, Mars orbiters capture their images. October 29th, perihelion, the blazing trial by fire near the sun. December, re-emergence into Earth's night skies. March 2026, a potential farewell through Juno's eyes at Jupiter. Each milestone is a page in a story we don't yet understand. Each one brings us closer to the possibility that this object is more than a relic of another star. It could be a messenger, a test, or a harbinger of something we've long suspected but never confirmed. So here we stand, an interstellar object glowing with alien chemistry, scattering light in impossible ways, carrying metals in unnatural ratios, threading its way through our solar system on a path that looks less like chance and more like intent. Astronomers no longer call it a curiosity. They believe it's preparing for arrival. What that arrival means? Harmless passage, deliberate communication, or something far more profound remains the mystery. But one thing is certain, the countdown has already begun. And when 3i Atlas finally makes its move, the entire world will be watching.